Uh, Jesse, you are a residential uh, NCAA man. Uh, do you want to break down this game and what we should expect? Are we going uh, Virginia Tech first? Yes, Virginia Tech uh, versus <laughs> NC State minus 13 and a half. It's going to be Thursday at 630 Central Time. Uh, I know we're I know we're different here, Trey. I know you have VTech, but Virginia Tech is one and four straight up in the last five, one and four against the spread in the last five, and Grant Wells is horrible at the quarterback position for this offense. I don't even know if they're going to score in this game. NC State's been banged up a little bit. The defense is getting is a little bit worse than what people said, but they're still a really good defense. I think Leary's out in this game. He's for the season. I still like NC State minus the thirteen and a half. Lay the points. Um, yeah, I think I think they cover at home, and it's also a night game, so they're going to be wild. Uh, yeah, I'm a little worried about it, but uh, they don't have their quarterback in uh, Leary, so he's going to be out, I think, for the rest of the season. Um, so I'm going to be fading NC State. <clears throat> and you threw out a lot of bad trends for Virginia Tech, uh, so I'm going to throw out a couple bad ones for Let NC State. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Wolfpack are 0-4 ATS in their last four games overall. They're also 0-4 ATS in the last four conference games. But the Hokies are also 5-0 and in their last five games against uh, NC State. So with all that being said, I'm going to take Virginia Tech plus 13.5. I think it's – I mean, if Leary was there, this game would probably be closer to 23.5, uh, and, and I would side with NC State. But he's out, so I'm going to take uh, the points and Virginia Tech. Before I change, Teets, Teets, you got to give me some stats now. What you got anything on this game? Oh, I'm I'm with Trey. I'm going Virginia okay. Tech plus oh, thirteen and oh, a half. No. <laughs> what Virginia Tech was able to do with Miami, they kept it a pretty close game. I just NC State has looked lost without Leary. I just I just don't think that they've got it. I mean, I think NC State walks away with the win in this game, but I don't think they cover two touchdowns. Trey, what was that? What was that stat? The five and one for V Tech. Five and O ATS in their last five games against NC State. So in the last yeah. five matchups against these two teams, Virginia Tech has covered. Oh my! And I mean, I will say this: if you look at NC State, the first game without Larry, they got absolutely demolished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the problem, though, Trey, is that Virginia Tech played North Carolina a couple weeks back, and they scored ten points. And North Carolina gives up ten points to wet paper bags. So, um. <laughs> No, I'm not going to change. I'm going to stick with NC State. We've been we've been together too much. We're going to break it up here. I'm going to take NC State. I'm going to keep it. Break it up. I like it. I mean, no more team rides. So it's me yep. and Cheats with plus 13 and a half with Virginia Tech and Jesse Lone Wolfen minus 13 and a half with NC State. 